Hey guys, my ass is here, and in this video is 1-2D, where I'm gonna talk about sketching functions. So it's gonna be really important in calculus that you know how to sketch a function or you understand what a function looks like, primarily from some parent graphs. And we're talking stuff, remember this is a little, this is review, so we're talking about things like uh, translations, going moving left and right, or uh, maybe a combination of a function, a composite function, something where we start a parent graph and we can identify how this function changes basically given some transformation or translation. So I'm going to take a look at a few examples here, but I want to let you know that you're going to have to know some parent graphs. So you have to memorize these guys. You know what? You can't get around calculus without doing lots of memorization of certain things. So this is one of those things. Remember and memorize your parent graphs. I'll take, take a look here at what these are. Now, they're in your worksheets if you are in um, Essentials of Calculus. This is in your worksheets here. So make sure you take and you have some time to memorize these guys um, and all these because they do come up quite often. So another thing you're going to want to know is how to do any of these graphing adjustments. So where the negative is and what, I, what happens if I add inside or outside the parentheses or a multiply inside or outside the parentheses or what happens when I take an absolute value inside or outside the function. So make sure you've studied these and if you are watching this video, I suggest you pause it, take a look at them so you can see how we adjust in my examples. All right, let's go over these examples, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this graph that I have here on the side and I'm going to do some uh, shifting and scaling and uh, move this function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have f of x plus 2. Now if you look back up at the, the shifting, the, 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 the movements that I just went over, the adjustments, that's what I call them, adjustments, you notice that I have x plus 2 in the parentheses. That shifts it left shifts it to the left two units so in this case um shift left two units so i'm taking this entire graph here and i'm going to shift it to the left two units so i'm taking this point two units two units two units two units okay so move everything over two units and it's going to look like like this here so i'm going to take this point and shift it over two units um, take this point over here, shift to two units, it's going to be over here somewhere. So I'm going to have that curve that goes like this. And then this was at three. So now it's going to be over here at one. I'm going to have a graph that looks like that. Okay, so I shifted everything two units. Now this one, I have a the negative in the front. Okay, so this negative in the front, what does that do first? Well, that's going to reflect or flip across the x-axis. Then what we're going to need to do is this second step, which is add 2. And what does that do? That shifts up 2 units. All right, so up 2 units. And we're going to go ahead and do all of those. So the first is I'm going to reflect it. And then I'm going to shift it up to. So reflection is going to make this. So instead of it being at 2, it's going to be, I'm going to erase this here so we can see it better. So instead of it being at 2, it's going to be at negative 2. Instead of this being at a y of negative 1, it's going to be a y of positive 1. And this one's going to be down here. So it's going to look like that. And then I'm going to flip it up, right? So my first step looked like this. Oops. Let me use the red my first step all right first step looks like this and then my second step is shifting everything up two units so right there 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 okay there we go okay let's take a look at some more here and I'm gonna zoom out a bit so that we can see the graph as I do this Hopefully it's big enough you can see it. One half f of negative x. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, whatever this one half is. Well, let's do this negative inside. My rule of thumb is always go inside out. So if you have something inside your function, you want to do that first and then go out for that. So inside out. So do the inside part, then what's next to the f, and then always add or subtract shifting up or down last. 
So this first one is going to do a, uh, I'll put number one here. This is going to reflect the y-axis. All right, so it's going to go this way, reflect the y-axis. And then the one-half, the one-half is going to squeeze. Um, I can't even do a Z here. So this is going to squeeze, squeeze vertically. by a factor of one half. So basically what I'm saying is take the y values and divide them by two. Okay, that's pretty much pretty much it. Take the y values and shrink them. So first I'm going to reflect this. So this is going to stay there and then this instead of being at negative two it's going to be over here now at positive two and this one instead of being at three it's going to be over here at negative three. All right, so we're gonna have something that looks like this. Um, this, this, like this. Okay, I'll go ahead and zoom in here so we can see what it looks like. So this is after my flip. And then I'll go ahead and do my shrink. And my shrink or my squeeze, I'm taking this y value of two and I'm dividing it by two. So that's gonna give me one. This is gonna give me one. Zero divided by two is just zero, so that's gonna stay there. And negative one divided by two is negative one half, so that's gonna be right here. And that's what I'm gonna have, okay? All right, let's look at number 20. Checking my time here, doing all right. All right, so now we have an absolute value of f of two of x. Now, remember I said do inside out, go inside out. So inside the parentheses first, and what the inside is going to do when I multiply, this is going to do, okay, so we're kind of doing the opposite. So instead of multiplying the x's by 2, we're actually going to divide them by 2. So this is going to do a squeeze horizontally. By a factor of 1 half. All right, so basically I'm going to multiply the x values by one half, or divide the x values by two. Either way, you can you can do that. And then my second step, and I'm going to do the second step here. It's the absolute value. All right. So what the absolute value does? It takes everything that's negative and flips it up to being positive. So basically, I'm going to reflect um, reflect the points below the x-axis across the x-axis. All right, so think of it as just flipping, think of it as flipping up, all right? So you're taking, you're taking whatever's, whatever's down, down here, right? Here's the x-axis, whatever's down here, and you're taking it and just flipping it up this way. All right, let's, let's flipping it up this way, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm squeeze horizontally by a factor of one half. Now I'm gonna zoom out here so I can see the graph. So what I said here for this squeeze horizontally by a factor of one half is I'm gonna take the x values and I'm gonna multiply them by a half, or divide them by two. So the x value of this point right here is negative two. Okay, so this point up here, I'm going to leave the y value the same. So this is going to shrink in to, to negative 1. Still, still having the same y value. This one has um, an x value of 0, so that's going to stay there. This has an x value of negative 1, so I'm going to shrink that guy. That goes into now negative 1 half. And this is 3, so it's going to be 1.5 down there. So, zoom in here, show you what this looks like. Go like this, and then like that, okay? And then I'm gonna now reflect the bot, whatever's on the bottom, I'm gonna bring it up to the top. So, the stuff on the top stays there. Stuff above the x-axis stays above the x-axis. 
Okay, so it's above the x-axis, right? But this part right here flips up. So now it's going to look like this. Okay, and that's my finished product. All right, we've got one more here, guys. F of the absolute value of x. So this is a little bit tricky. Um, we're going to do this in, in two steps, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to eliminate all points to the left of the y-axis. Think of it this way. When I plug in a negative x, then first I'm going to do the absolute value, which is going to give me the positive, and then I'm going to plug it into the function. So I'm never really going to have, um, I'm really never going to have those negative values um, that go into my function, right? I'm not going to have those outputs. And then the second thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to replace the left half of the graph with the reflection, I'll say mirror image, of the right half. Okay, this will make a lot more sense once I do it. Okay, there should be symmetry Okay, in this case, there should be symmetry um, about the x about the y-axis. Okay, so we should see symmetry here and here. So what we're going to do is let's, let's see what the what I said here. We're going to eliminate all points left of the y-axis. So you see this part of the graph right here, this part of the graph gone. Not even going to look at that. So we're only going to take this part of the graph. All right, so I'm going to copy that part of the graph down. Boom, boom. That's my first step. Then my second step is to just reflect that to the y-axis. All right, so then I'm going to reflect that to the y-axis. Like that. And this is my graph. All right, does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense those steps if you have the absolute value inside. All right, so there's some examples, guys, of uh, what we would do. You should have, in this video, looked over the 12 um, basic functions or the parent functions. You should look at those translations, and you should have gotten a few examples of how to use the absolute value in a function and how to translate using reflections. Okay, we'll see you guys soon.